We're talking this morning about big strides in the push to pass the first drug to treat women with low sexual desire. Dr. Erwin Goldstein from San Diego Sexual Medicine joins us now with the latest, along with Barbara, who participated in the clinical trials for this drug. Okay, so first of all, Dr. Goldstein, let's start first with you. Talk, if you would, about this um, recent FDA news concerning this drug. So there was a press release, Erica. First of all, thank you for doing this. Uh, uh, there was a press release that uh, this drug, Flobanserin, has been received by the FDA and in September they need to make a decision yes or no that this drug gets approved. Uh, it is, uh, uh, multiple drug studies have shown it to be safe and efficacious and we fully expect it to be the pink pill, the first for women and we talked about this, 2013 is the year of the woman, we hope. Um, and uh, Barbara here was part of the earlier clinical trials on this product and I'm so happy that she agreed to be here. She was in what's called an open label trial where she knew she was getting the active drug and there was no placebo arm to this. And she's gonna tell us uh, about her experiences. Yeah, and Barbara, I wanna go to you now. Um, tell me if you would, um, gently as it's a family morning show, but tell me if you would a little bit about your experience while you were, you were taking the drug. Well, at first, during the clinical trial, there was, there was nothing because I, I was on placebo, but I didn't know it, it was a blind study. However, after that segment ended, I started taking the real thing. And <laughs> within one week, my whole life came back into order. Um, really? Yes. I mean, I have a wonderful marriage. I have a wonderful husband. I have a wonderful family. And it wasn't complete. That's the reason I started on this um, clinical trial. And within one week, it was like, wow. <laughs> This, this really works. It really, truly works. And after a week, they pulled the drug. And I was really upset about that because there's so many women out there. Uh, I know a lot of physicians and gynecologists, and they want to give their, their patients something, and there's nothing to give them. And it's so frustrating for women. It is so frustrating. So that was another reason I'm working with Dr. Goldstein on this because He's an amazing man, and he cares so much about women and their sexual sexuality, men too, but um, there's not much out there for women. When was this that you were on, doing the trial? Oh, it was a few years ago now. In 2011. And what yeah. did your, not to get too personal, but what did your husband say while you were on this? Oh, he was amazed. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually funny because, it, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, wow. <laughs> You know, it, I really have feeling and desire, and, yeah. and it's back, and, and this is great. I'm 30 years younger. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Goldstein, are her results, is this, is this what most people were seeing? This is a fabulous drug, and uh, 11,000 people have been studied on this drug. Uh, it's been 10 years in development. Where she had the drug stopped was when the uh, drug company had it. The FDA made an initial ruling not to uh, uh, approve it. Another company bought it, did three more thousand patients uh, to show more safety, and now it's back at the FDA, and in two months they have to make their decision. What do you predict will happen in two months? Do you think they will approve I it? So uh, I'm so optimistic that yeah. this will happen. The data are really supporting of it. So there's a lot of women with low interest, and uh, we're doing other clinical trials uh, beyond this uh, uh, drug, because now um, with the impending success of this, other companies are saying, wow, we can offer additional therapies for women. And, and you're still taking patients and we're for still that? Taking, we're starting one next week, a new clinical trial. So, anyways. Excellent. Um, so if this is approved in September, this particular drug that we're talking about with Barbara here. She'll go back on it. <laughs> you go back on it. Oh, but, and but how soon till, till Barbara could get it and, and, and everybody could get it on the on Well, theoretically, once it's approved, it should be like that. in the drugstores within a reasonable period of time. I mean, it has to go to the drugstores, but. What's it like for you waiting? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a little nerve-wracking. I would like to get it yesterday. Yeah. And even my daughter, um, you know, I mean, she's only 30-some years old, but 
but it affects your relationships, and that's the whole thing. It affects your, your wonderful relationships. You're supposed to be partners and working together, and when one isn't functioning properly, it, it's, it's, it's nerve-wracking that you can't get this. I would imagine it'd be so tough to, to have had it and then now not, not have it anymore. That's right. got to be really frustrating. Oh, you, yes. Dr. Goldstein knows how frustrating that was. <laughs> but we, we really, I mean, it's, it's a new era. Mm -hmm. um, I remember in 1998 when Viagra came out. This is 15 years later. It's now time for the woman's era, and we fully expect this to be. What were the side effects that people were experiencing? So they have a little somnolence or, or sleepiness. Okay. So they decided to, to make the indication you take the pill at night. So gotcha. it actually will help you sleep. So if you're a woman with sexual problems and tiredness uh, or can't sleep, you, this double treats you. Right. Barbara, did you experience some sleepiness or any other side effects? No, I no. experienced no side effects. You were wide awake. <laughs> I was wide You're awake. Ready. <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is fascinating stuff. And people, if they still want to participate in the, in the clinical trials that you guys are doing, they can contact right. you? Right. So it's 619-265-8865. Okay. Say that one more time. 619-265-8865. Eight eight six five, and we have the number up on your screen right there. You're still taking people, and the, the, oh, the trials yes. are going to begin next week. Yes. So if people want to try it out. So thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it, Barbara. Thank you for thank telling you, us your Erica. story. We really, really appreciate thank it. You. And if you want more information from Dr. Goldstein at San Diego Sexual Medicine Alvarado Hospital, all you have to do is go to our website, Fox5SanDiego.com, and click on that scene on tab. Okay, Raul, we'll send it on back over to you.